Hi again, it's Julie from One More Page, and just doing a quick wrap-up for what I read in November this month. Two vastly different books. I don't know how I stumbled across reading exactly these two books, but it just kind of happened. So here goes. Uh, first off, I read Michael Fullan's The Moral Imperative of School Leadership. It had dawned on me that I had been to a conference and Michael Fuller was the keynote uh, speaker at the conference and I have heard his name a number of times in education. He's kind of one of the big names, one of the big gurus and uh, I hadn't read any of his books so I thought uh, I'd start with one of them. Uh, this is, um, so I grabbed this one and it's very um, short and quick but very very dense and he makes a really strong case for exactly that, the moral imperative, always keeping at the forefront of everything we do in education attached to the why, um, that you know we're driven by a bigger purpose, and that purpose should be you know connected to having high expectations for all students and realizing that every student deserves in our, uh, in our world and in our province uh, an education. And... Uh, being a public educator, of course, that really speaks to me. So um, it was a dense book. I had to reread a number of lines, a number of the lines in it. You know, I kind of pulled and, and added to my repertoire of kind of really cool um, phrases around education. So I look forward to reading more of his stuff. It, uh, he's definitely fascinating to read. Okay, and on the total other end of the spectrum, somehow I ended up reading Catelyn's Moran, How to Build a Girl. Uh, my book club decided to read it, so next month there'll be a book club discussion about it. But uh, also, it was on my to-read list for a while. It has been getting a lot of attention just because it's one of those, another humor book, um, you know, kind of female-centered uh, so it was, um, I was interested in reading it and it was really an enjoyable book simply because, um, I put on my Goodreads review that I put this book into a category of other books that I consider books that just make me feel cheeky when I read them because it's just very tongue in cheek, very fun. Um, but you know, it's still dealing with some, I don't know if you want to say darker or serious or real life issues, but at the same time, everything's with this kind of cheeky look at things, and she literally re the character main character reinvents her life, and uh, you know, a couple times actually. So, and it's still kind of empowering in this weird way, and it takes place in the '90s. So, you know, growing up in the '90s myself, I felt a connection, even though it's it's still it's set in the UK, and I'm I'm in Ontario, so it's a bit of a different there. But it was kind of cool being in that that world of London. Um, as well. So, um, really just a fun book to read. It makes me feel cheeky up there with authors like, uh, David Sedaris. And, uh, I would say the other one that reminds me of this is, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, let's pretend this never happened by Jenny Lawson. I, if you know of more books that are in this kind of vein, just send them my way. Just send me the titles because I love reading books like this just because it gets me out of being so serious because I tend to be a bit of a serious reader. Uh, and these are still smart, but very um, engaging and funny. And I just look at the world and kind of laugh at the silly things that you see every day because you're kind of in the, that mindset of these characters who are able to to do that as well. So, great book. And uh, that was what I read in November. Uh, was a bit of a slow month. Hoping to pick it up in December when I got a bit more time for reading. But that's what I read. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Thanks for listening.